Did you know that all types of beaver ants have one special ability? They can make structures out of leaves. Like, they will bend the leaf and make structures out of them. Like, a facility where, where when they grow the eggs and a facility when they attack, they can basically make all types of structures. But with long leaves, they can make like long buildings, like very long, like skyscrapers. Like this is a long leaf and they will bend them and bend it and bend it and bend it until they have a very long structure. So it's just kind of like us. We're bending the materials to create bigger materials. I mean, buildings. So, yeah. The Asian bullet ant, actually, there's a lot of bullet ants in the world. Asian, um, that's all I currently know about. But I think there's a lot more than Asian bullet ants. But let's start with the main bullet ants. Bullet ants. Yep, it's just bullet ants. The bullet ant sting can sting you so painfully that it feels like a bullet shooting through your body. So, yeah. A bullet ant sting is one bullet going through your body. And those bullet ants are huge. Like this size. Which is abnormally massive for a normal size ant. So, yeah. And the Asian bullet ant, not that huge, but still kind of huge. Still this size. So, yeah. And the thing is pretty, it's, uh, it's worse because it's Asian. Yep. It depends. And do you know, guys, there's ants that, do you know the ants that live in the snow in other countries? Yep. They have adapted to the snow. Have you ever wondered, like, snow is easier to dig than soil? Yep, ants know that too. Ants, um, snow is easier to dig than soil. So, if you just dig the soil, I mean, this, you just dig the snow, you will find the ant colony. Because it's much easier to dig snow than soil. Because soil has, like, teeny tiny rocks that harden it up. So, like, it's very hard. And ants can feel the same too. And this is 200 IQ for the ants. Have you ever seen, like, an ant, like a normal size ant that has a big head? Like, it's kind of like a bent? Well, they dig holes that perfectly fit their head. And once there are, like, a creature that wants to eat them, it, this is, like, the hole. And this is their head. It basically can lock up like this. And that head is made of keratin, which is basically your hair and your fingernails. So, yeah, it's very tough for the normal insect. So, yeah, guys, that's all I have. Guys, I have one more thing for you. If ants, like, a queen ant is like this. Just pretend my hand is a queen ant. And let's pretend this part of my hand is like... So if the queen ant will just basically bury, burrow to the soil and now there's a hole which potential mantises and other ants can, can go in. So the queen ant literally buries itself. So it's like a hole. There's like a hole in the ground but there's actually, she just covers in herself, the queen ant and the queen ant still managed to live. Yep. Ants can breed through soil now. So, how do you think they can breed through cotton? We can breed through cotton. So, might as well, they can. So, yeah, guys. That's the final um, story. Bye-bye. Okay. Thanks for morning kuntuhan. Thanks for morning kuntuhan, guys. Bye-bye. It's about five minutes.